So why build coastal defense ships? Well, maybe your country just couldn't afford a full-sized battle fleet. Or maybe your naval strategy was defensive by design. You needed to defend against battleships, not build your own. Because with their heavy weapons and armor, coastal defense ships were still dangerous. They weren't designed to maneuver on the high seas like a battleship. They didn't have anything like the range of a battleship. And being smaller, they couldn't carry as many guns as a battleship. But shallow draft coast defense ships could go places battleships couldn't, making them almost like mobile coastal fortresses. Powerful artillery batteries that could easily pop up anywhere along the coast. In other words, coastal defense ships were not for power projection. They were for holding the line at home. And they were a great form of deterrence, more than enough to make a potential invader think twice. Easily capable of seeing off cruisers and, if handled smartly, even posing a threat to battleships. And they were cheap, because number one, they just weren't that big. And number two, speed and range were very much secondary concerns. You know, when you think about the costs associated with building a warship, a high-performance propulsion system is really up there as one of the biggest expenses. With these things, you don't need to worry about that so much. Not a bad choice if you have a small naval budget and a long coastline to defend. Maybe lots of islands, peninsulas, estuaries, fjords. This is why coastal defense ships were so popular with Nordic countries. To watch the whole video, hit the link below and subscribe for more.